everyone, it's Tim from TimGonyer.com, and I'm back with another episode of... What's That Color? Okay, so for the next few episodes of What's That Color, I'm gonna go into a little bit of color theory, and we're gonna cover some really popular color schemes. Today, we're gonna talk about analogous color. Um, an analogous color is a color scheme you can use for your paintings. It creates great harmony, uh, looks really fresh, and creates a nice vibrant painting. This painting here is an example of an analogous color scheme. Pretty good tongue twister there if you want to try to say that. And if you want to learn how to paint this painting from start to finish, I have a full tutorial on my website, www.timgunyer.com. The link to that lesson is below in the information box. Okay, so let's talk about an analogous color scheme. I have to say that slowly, because if you try to say unanalogous really quickly, it's quite the tongue twister. Anyway, um, let's talk about the analogous color scheme. Okay, so let's just look at the color wheel here. I just tore this out from uh, my palette paper pad. It had this little color wheel in there, which was kind of convenient for this video. Um, but an analogous color scheme is basically when you take three or four colors that are all side by side. A lot of people say just to use three colors um, and you can use like raw umber and white to change values and tones and, and things like that. Uh, but you can really go three or four, even five, if you're just kind of teetering on the edge between two colors. In this painting, I did mostly three colors but I kind of uh, pushed it all the way into the yellows too, um, to push it a little bit further. Another great thing about an analogous color scheme is uh, you avoid mixing complementary colors together, which um, is sometimes a big mistake. Sometimes it's a great tool, but when you're just starting out painting and you accidentally mix a whole bunch of complementary colors together and you get mud everywhere, um, well, that's usually why you're getting mud, is because you're mixing complementary colors together. So an analogous color scheme kind of prevents you from doing that. Okay, let's just zoom in really quick to my palette and I'll do a little color mixing to show you how an analogous color scheme works. Okay, I got my handy dandy glove here and uh, what we're gonna do is mix a little bit of this oil paint and I've got ultramarine blue, turquoise, cobalt teal, and yellow ochre and with an analogous color scheme, you can really create quite the spectrum of color just spanning these colors here. So you can see you go from blue to turquoise to teal. To yellow you've got that nice rainbow of color there and then you can even do more tonal colors by mixing the opposite sides together you get more of a grayish scheme and then even if you mix the yellow with the middle, you've got another shade that harmonizes well. And then you can mix the teal with the blue, and you have another shade of color. Okay, so an analogous color scheme basically allows you to mix three or four colors side by side and make a whole bunch of different colors with them and then you can take maybe your raw umber and your white and make different values and some more earthy tonal colors to go with them. Okay, so that covers the analogous color scheme. You can use different colors. You don't have to use the teals and blues. You can use uh, the reds, orange, and yellows. Uh, you can do orange, yellow, and green. Uh, just you use the colors side by side on the color wheel and you'll get a good harmony. 
So now, if you want to learn how to do a painting in this color scheme, uh, check out how to do this painting on my website. The link is down in the information box below, and it will link you directly to the lesson page. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's That Color? Next time, we'll talk about another color scheme that will help you with your paintings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.